on, Av. You going in my purse? Yes. What are you doing in my purse? Yes. What are you doing in my purse? Yes. What? Right? All right, all right, all right. So Daddy's getting home soon. Yep, we're going to... Uh, we're going to cook pork chops, pork chops. Uh, What's a macaroonos? Is, is that a cheese doodle on the floor? Cheese doodle. Miss Epic, that's a cheese doodle. Or a cheese sit. No, not a cheese sit. It's a, don't eat it. Oh, you're so funny. You're so funny. You're a silly goose. Cheese curls. Say cheese curls. Cheese curls. Cheese curls making coffee because I'm going to stream tonight around uh, six. So I got to get my coffee in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Ev? What do you have there, miss? Can you show me what you have? You have milk, peanut butter and jelly, and what? Cheese doodles? That wasn't very nice. <laughs> That's not very nice. Don't do that. No, don't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> no, you're going to get all over my floor. Stop that. Don't do that. What? What? Do you not... Oh, now you're stepping in the puddles. Look at you. You're nuts. Ev, where's your eyes at? Where's your ears? Where's your tummy? Where's your feet? Where's your eyebrows? Where's your mouth? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Where's your hair? <laughs> she wants the brush. Where is it at? Um, are you doing homework, my lover? Or are you, are you doing homework? Can we turn up the camera so I can put on some sweatpants? That's, I don't have the camera on. There's red light flashing. Yes. Uh, what is that? Hi, kids. What is it? Hi, kids. Oh, it's a microphone? Is that your microphone? Huh? 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 Is that your microphone? Are you singing? So here we have Mr. Rob here. Mr. Mr. McGee, but real you quick, have to can do I? Some prep work. I know, but can I help with the prep work? Oh, no. I would love for you to help with prep work, but you don't know how to cook or clean or do anything. I know how to clean. See, I have one dish in the sink. Hey, well, you know how to straighten. I, hey, I dusted my desk today. You are a straightening mofo. I dust. I straightened my desk today. I have to peel potatoes. That is extremely boring. So we're gonna start with that. Well, let's look at Mr. Potato. We can preheat the oven. For, well, let me do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? So you, they know I'm doing stuff. What am I preheating to? Uh, I'll go 400 because we're going to roast some potatoes tonight. We're going to roast some potatoes tonight. Did you hear that, guys? Roast some potatoes. How many potatoes? Uh, we're going to peel them, slice them up, and we'll see how many we got. And we're putting it in a pan, a pot? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to dredge them. So you them. need to boil water? No, no, no. We're going to roast them. You're going to put them in the red one? We're going to put them in olive oil. Olive oil. All right. Let's see if I can find some olive oil, which is all the way, usually back here. Is this olive oil? Uh, right here, olive oil. What else do you need? I would love a raw onion, but you don't buy me them. I was there last night. We have onion powder? Yeah, we'll put some spices on it. Do you want me to bring some spices out? I would like some oregano. Oregano, oregano, oregano. It's on the other side. Um, well, you know, I'm kind of short here, babe. Some paprika. I don't see a oregano. Ooh, we're going to chop that out. Paprika. Okay. And anything else? Um, yes, garlic. 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 Like garlic oregano. powder? Paprika. Yes, garlic powder. Garlic okay. powder. Um, onion powder. Onion powder. powder. Yep, that's good. All right. So we have our ingredients here. Let me let everybody know. And a little salt and pepper. And a little salt and pepper. Don't be like me. He picks up the wrong pepper at the Actually, store. I like the smoked pepper too. It's called smoked pepper. Let's see if I can find it. Right it's here. Red it's smoked. Smokehouse black pepper. Yes. It's actually really good. All right. 
Oh, oh, she's in my purse. That's not good. Might as well just do them all. You want to do them all? Do you want me to help you? Yeah. You sure. Yep. <laughs> you want help? You're counting? You're missing one. There's six. Yes. Now there's seven. You can't eat that though. That's a potato. You can eat it, but not right now. You gotta wait until there you go. Okay. So what kind of pan are you going to want? The red one? Nah, we're just going to do them in glass. Okay. We're going to do them, we'll probably do them in one of our corrals. Okay. All right, so we have peeled and sliced. I mean, they're, they're peeled and washed potatoes. Real even chunky style, because they hold better. We'll throw them in a mixing bowl. Okay, so you have about a pound here? Nah, we probably have two pounds. Two pounds? We all like potatoes. We're Irish. An Italian. <laughs> You're Italian, not me, cuz. Scottish, Irish. <laughs> I'm mutt. You're a mutt? I'm mutt. Well, you're, you're Scottish, Irish. Scottish, Irish, Pennsylvania, Dutch, German, you name it. Oh. I always like those people. I'm 196 Cherokee. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're all mutts. You're all mutts. Oh, I can. I'm at least four generations in in this country, so I'm an American mutt. American mutt. Um, oh. Uh oh. So we pick it up. Yeah, we're gonna we'll pick it up and wash it. Let it go. It's a potato. Can't hurt them. Okay, I'll wash it off. I hope we don't run out of storage. I'd be really upset. <laughs> well, you're, we're not doing anything exciting, so you can stop right now. We're just yeah. chopping potatoes. He's chopping potato guys. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. Ooh. That piece is good. Might be able to carve around it. So how old were you when you started cooking? Second grade. Second grade, guys. It's called Latchkey Kid. That's not allowed anymore, but... I had my, I could get in my house, I could cook for myself in second grade. And what was like your first favorite meal that you made? Oh, I used to make uh, Chef Bordy. Oh, really? And Chunky Soup. So who taught you how to like cook like this? Well, a lot of it is trial and error like everything. Really? And then you start figuring out what tastes good together. And then of course you can cheat and watch shows like I do. I used to watch Emeril and I used to watch all those people. Like he would say, oh my God, this marjoram is so good with pork. And it is. But yeah. You don't know. Most people don't know what marjoram is. Marjoram, is that like one marjoram of these spice, over here? Right? Yeah, a See spice. Our horribly dirty spice rack that you shouldn't be showing people on videos. <laughs> it's so because, this is. Because it was my mom's. Yeah. yeah. And what does this taste like? It's, it's like an oregano. Um, but for some reason it goes really good with pork. Are you so going to put it on pork tonight? Yes, and so does savory. Okay. We could actually put some in, but I was thinking a little dill, dill? instead. Dill? Okay. So we're going to do, ready? We're going to do all our spices. We're going to do dill. And I don't measure anything, but you can if you want. For some reason I like dill and potato, especially with oil. Nice little liberal coating. Oh, we could give people fake measurements and that way they're all happy. Say like two tablespoons of dill. Well, they're watching you, so I yeah. think they have an idea. Garlic, we like them garlicky. Ooh. Paprika, give them some color, plus a little flavor. Right. And the redder it is, usually the more spicy it is, which I like. Yeah. So if you don't know what you're buying in paprika, just I try to go by color. I like oregano. Do -do -do. Onion. We go through some onion powder in this house. We should be crazy and put like bacon on our pork chops. Well, that'd be great if we had some bacon. I have bacon. We love. should put the bacon in these potatoes and roast it all. Well, do you have to cook it already? You should. 
better. All right. All right, olive oil. How much olive oil are you going to put in? I'm going to call it six tablespoons, which six. is an absolute lie. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All we're doing is wetting them. Okay. So we're going to mix them. Oh, I still have, I still have this. A, a pretty little pan that we can put right in the oven. Aww. All right, I'm going to put this on it to keep it. The moisture in, and then when I want, I'll take that off and just get a little crust on the top. Okay. But all we're doing is mixing these together. Now, how are we gonna make the um, pork chops? We're gonna put them in the oven also. Well, yeah, we're gonna rub them. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a dry rub. We're gonna put some spice on them, like we always do. Do you want to try some bacon on there? All of on the meats. on the pork chops. Well, no. I'm gonna save the bacon for the next meal because we're poor. <laughs> we're not poor. Yes, we are. <laughs> Christine likes to think so, but we are dirt poor. All right, see now look, now we look like we got some potatoes going here, right? And all we're gonna do is let them roast. We're rich with love, Rob. Rich with love. Rich love with doesn't love. pay the bills. We pay. But I like your attitude. Okay, let's keep it that way. Right? We have to. If not, we cry ourselves to sleep. You sure you don't want to add in a couple green beans in there just to see? If you had fresh green beans, I would love that. I would love some onion in there too. Yeah. But you didn't buy me any of that. Well, that wasn't on the list, mister. That wasn't on the list. Don't care about the preheat. Throw them in. Throw them in? Yeah, For how long? They're, they're going to take probably a half hour to an hour. Okay. Um, I'm going to go at least a half hour and then check them. Because potatoes take a while to roast. Pretty solid. So we'll just throw them in for a half. That'll give me some time to uh, get the pork chops prepped. And then I'm going to throw the pork chops in at the same temperature just to make it convenient for dinner. All right. I like it. I like it. You don't have to record me. No, I wanted to let them know that you're putting pepper in. Right. So you had onion powder, oregano leaves, yep. paprika, and garlic powder, and then you put some pepper. of your... And you're right, we didn't do any salt. So, we want you to do a little cheat, we'll do a little celery salt. Yeah. All right, give it a little depth of flavor, and celery wouldn't be a bad idea in this too, but it'll put a little more, more moisture in the pan. Yeah. I'm okay with that, but we don't have any celery either, so... Because... Hmm. Somebody doesn't believe in vegetables. I do so. Yeah, when? I, they're called frozen. Yeah, well, at least frozen, but I don't have any of them to cook with well, either. Well, I told you, I only got like a little bit at the uh, have store to have last Protein, night. carbohydrates, or a starch, plus um, garlic, paprika, and pepper, and margarine for the pork chops. All right. Um, so, does it have all three? For your balanced meal there going. All on. right, all right. All right. Are you gonna make yourself a salad? Or um, no? I will probably make myself a salad while I'm waiting to eat because I'm slimming down. Look. I'm you are slimming yeah, down, right. fatty, fatty McJay. Yeah. Nobody likes your all name, right, by so the way. I have to go back in. They don't like your name. They don't like my name. Why were you? Why? Who gave you the name, Fatty McJay? A kid who was 600 pounds. So isn't that funny? He was calling me fatty. So that's just stuck. And how old were you when they started calling you that? Oh, I've been I've been fatty for a long time. But Don't you have a jersey that says fatty on it? Yeah. Really? Does oh, it yeah. say Mick G or McGeorge? Um, Do you have any shirt to say Mick G on it? Uh, my one old football jersey was about it. We still have that, I think. I doubt it. Oh, did you doubt this one last night? No. Aww. Which is good because they need a check. They need to be in check for the playoffs. For the playoffs. We're hoping. We're hoping we're gonna have. When do they play their next game? New Year's Day. Uh, no, they play this week. Come up. But isn't a big game on New Year's Day they play? Well, yeah, they play the Eagles. Oh. We're from the Northeast and everybody around here. So is wait, hold on. Don't tell me it's in Philly. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <sighs> nice pork chops. I see a boat. This they have a lot of bone in them. Yes. But for Bones how much? How much was it? I don't know, but bones make them better. It was only six fifty. For how many pounds, you think? Oh, it's not many. Not many pounds. But the good news is you're starting to follow my roll here, and not really. It was. It wasn't too bad. We're poor guys. We're really poor. Did we you know are. that we have no house over our head? Christine. We have no food on the table, and Chris over here has no love. <laughs> If we're gonna talk about love, we're don't even get me started, all right? I love you. And you can't talk about stuff like that. We're we're doing a cooking video, love. A cooking, a video. cooking video. All right, so we're rolling with our black well, pepper. Yes, and you're making a mess on the stove. That's here. okay, because I'm the only one who cleans it. 
Um, I cleaned it today. I remember our marjoram. 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 Little. Are you gonna put it on both sides or just one Absolutely. side? Absolutely, we're gonna flip it. All right. I'm gonna do the paprika again. Or we could do cayenne, but the little kids are gonna eat, so we'll right. probably Is them. paprika the same as cayenne? No. A little bit of dry rub makes everything better. Now, since you're Italian and I'm Irish, we put garlic on everything. I'm Irish too. I know, I'm saying we put garlic on everything. Everybody smells, everybody's house smells too. I miss my grandmom's smell. What does our house smell like? Ah, uh, <laughs> dirty little kids right now. There's too many of them in this house. Well, you put a diaper in the uh, trash can without a bag. Yeah, Mr. that's so, it. I just touched the raw meat. I gotta wash my hands again. All right. We love a lot of things, guys. Ah, we'll we sell love some, a lot of things. We'll sell some clothing or something like that over the weekend so we can buy some dish detergent. We're gonna, if anybody wants to donate <laughs> some dish detergent, you're more than welcome to. Okay? And. Oh, now we're begging? No, we're not begging. We're just, All right. I'm just gonna let it out there. Whoever has. All right. Extra dish detergent laying around in your house, bring it over to the McGee house. All right, little Marjoram. What you making? What do you think? Show us how brilliant you are. What are they? Pork chops. Good job. I love Captain Obvious questions. I <laughs> you know what they are. Is your mouth hot? Yes. From the flaming hot Cheetos? Yes. Cheetos. And how long are you going to cook these for? These are so thin, they'll probably take a half hour. At so 400 thin. They don't look thin. Yeah, they are. At, at 400 degrees, it's not going to take long. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're going to put them in na like now? The old timers used to burn everything. Even your mom. Oh, my goodness. The last time your mom made sausage, I wanted to cry. Because it was so overcooked because she was so worried about, you'll get worms. But that was my grandmom too, Rob. You know that? Yeah, know, my grandmom used they, to burn they, everything, I know. overcook everything. I know. That's why I don't cook. <laughs> Believe it or not, most people, and when most people eat in chains, chain stores, you get food poisoning every third time you're in there. Really? It's just not severe like people think it is. Like, right. Oh, and I'm sorry. It's not food poisoning. It's a foodborne illness. Oh. All right. A foodborne illness. illness. Right. Oh. Because if it was actually food poisoning, then people would get sick and go to the hospital. Oh. Right. But if you have. I had food poison as a kid. Well, and I ended people. I ended up in in the hospital because of a cheeseburger I ate. Yeah, that's bull. You should have toughed it out. No, uh, like I got really sick. I was like in pre-K. Oh, I know. I laid it myself in the hospital. <laughs> All right, they're All right. looking good. All right, sorry, vegetarians. So potatoes are in. Potatoes are in. ready to rock. We're going to let them go for the half hour because you can't overcook those potatoes. Right, All right? okay. But we want them soft. All right. All right. Oh, did we, and did we put the lid on them? Mm, no, I didn't. Your lid. Good. Yeah, your lid's in there. Is it? I think so. Mmm. No, no. where is the lid? Mm. Just put the lid back. That's right. I'm gonna throw the lid in just to kind of keep the moisture in. Watch your hand. Yeah. There we go. This is it. Good enough. All, All right. right, so we'll wait a couple more minutes. We'll, we'll put wait. them in. Okay. Right. Sing jingle bells. Now do, a, now do a bow. Do a bow. There you go. Beautiful girl. All right. You're welcome, Evie.